Hi again. So hope y'all had a good week and you know, found some good reads. So I've got an, yeah, another new author for you though. If you've read the Agent Pendergast series, you might be familiar with this one though. You probably haven't read his solo works. Today we're talking about Lincoln Child and Terminal Freeze. This is his uh, Jeremy Logan series that he does by himself. And you'll notice a different background. Normally I do this in my, you know, front of my to be read bookshelf, but today everybody's home, awake from their naps and feeling frisky since the cat decided to make his escape today and run around. So we had to go and catch him and put him back in his little quarantine room till he learns to behave well with others. So they're all a little frisky right now. So it's a little bit quieter in here, but today like I said, we've got the Jeremy Logan series from you know, Lincoln Child doing his own thing. And you can definitely tell if you've read both his work solo and with Douglas Preston, the Agent Pendergast series, at least the early ones, I quit reading them because they became normal murder mysteries and would probably be good if somebody else read them but not when you're expecting certain flared elements that aren't there anymore. Once, okay, you had an off day. Twice, you broke my trust and have been relegated to public library reading and not personal library anymore. So, <laughs> that's their punishment. But his solo works, I'm enjoying. And again, this isn't the first one in the series. If you want, you know, me just to have fresh impressions of the first book from an author. I've done that with a lot of ebooks this year. I've already read 13 so far, only a few weeks in. So half of that has been real book, half of that has been ebook. But the thing with Jeremy Logan is it's not only a new adventure that you can read all by itself and still follow it, there's no, hmm, how did this cast member work with this one? What's their relationship? The only reoccurring character is our title character. So you are losing absolutely nothing picking up anywhere. With that said, you're probably curious what it's about. Because why else are you watching a video about books? Except for to know if you want to read them. So him, I like these. They're kind of, yeah, it's got a little supernatural to it. Which, well, I say a little. He calls himself an enigmologist. Basically, he doesn't want to be you know, called a ghost hunter and have the stigma that goes with that. But he has been a ghost hunter in other books and then, yeah, kind of got a reputation for it. And he just kind of likes, you know, checking out and investigating these things that aren't quite on most people's radars. So for Terminal Freeze, uh, what happens is, we are in the Arctic with a bunch of environmentalists and, you know, random various scientists at this base way up in the middle of nowhere, you know, exploring, you know, the Arctic and going, hey, we're, you know, we can do all this research that we can't do anywhere else in the world. Oh, this ice cap is, you know, falling apart and melting into the ocean and it opened up a lava tube, so... Duh, gotta explore it. I mean, why wouldn't you, right? Especially when you're all about ice and what's in it. Like we have a paleo zoologist, I think is what one of them is, and a paleo, you know, eco. I think it was an ecologist. I can't exactly remember the title now. I've actually read two more books since then. <laughs> Start getting a little hazy. That's why I like to do, you know whatever book I've read now and not necessarily the first book in the series that I read a year or two ago. But, so they're going and exploring this cave and find something in the ice. And in which case we find out that, oh crap, they're being funded actually by a documentary series that, like, oh, we think we found a saber-toothed tiger. We're gonna, you know, go dig it out and make this whole, we're gonna unfreeze it alive. And of course that does not go well because, well, what kind of book would that be if things went as planned? And we also, you know, from the start, there's this 
tribe that is thought pretty much lost and it's a very small handful of people and they know okay this guy isn't what it should be it's an omen of you know our you know spirits being mad at something being you know violated so they come to warn you know, these people you need to go home whatever you're doing it's angering the spirits we're all gonna die and predictably they're completely ignored so they dig this creature out and go to thaw it. And at this point, Jeremy Logan shows up and is, you know, thinks, you know, he's found out about where they're doing all this research at is a base from way back in the day during the Cold War. And there's some, you know, mysterious stuff of it was going to be used and then everybody there died 60 years ago. And it was very hush hush. So, you know, He's there for that and pretending that, yeah, well, oh, don't worry, I'm just basically a tourist, it's all good, sneaking around this facility. And turns out what they want to thaw, it's not a saber-toothed tiger, and it ain't dead. So we end up, and there's our, kind of our supernatural is, hmm, what's going around killing these people? Because as we found out, it's kind of happened before, but it was a different creature. And again, they thought they killed it. They didn't kill it. They never found a body or anything. They could never figure out what was really going on. Word of it never got out. And so we have again this creature that they're in the Arctic. It should not be able to thaw. <laughs> but it did on its own. And so now we have people getting killed and no everybody up in arms that well, somebody's off doing it, or this creature went missing because y'all stole it because you want to actually do science instead of just let us, you know, film it and ruin all the evidence and destroy any hopes of actually learning anything from it. How dare you? Like, we have all rights to do this. So, and it just becomes scientists versus media, and then, oh, crap, okay, fine, we'll, we'll come together because we don't want to get killed. And it ends up this, it thawed, it did thaw itself because there is, even though it's below freezing, it was just a certain kind of ice that it needs less than 32 degrees to stay frozen. Pull it out of this glacier hole and put it into a shed and it ain't cold enough. And it's sneaking around. We never really get to find out exactly what it is. Even at the very end, we, it's some kind of creature and no matter what they do, nothing seems to be working on it. Conventional weapons just take it off. And so, we get that supernatural, but we don't get the, you know, with the other series that he usually writes on, it's, it only seems supernatural because, you know, it's like the old magic adage. You know, magic is just science we don't understand yet, and nobody understands it except for the main character. In this case, even the main character doesn't understand it. His understanding is just, there's things we don't know. Sometimes you just got to go with the obvious, what the heck flies in the face of everything we know, you know, theory that's right in front of your face. It might seem crazy, but what else are you going to come up with? <laughs> so it's, kinda, it's hard to explain, but it's very fun. It's just, yeah, you've got a murder mystery and a, this wild animal monster from prehistoric times that may or may not be some, you know, ancient native, you know, tribe evil spirit that they've pissed off. That's just, yeah. Something's gone around getting these people and some of them you're kind of glad they get whacked because there's always got to be a couple people you don't like. Some of them you're sad for and yeah. And then, of course, there's, you know, all the relationships in between of, oh, okay, this character, like, oh, I kind of want them to get together, and it's going to happen, it's not going to happen. He's gone off his rocker, he started off cool, and now he's just crazy, going towards evil. You know, what's going to happen with that, and who's going to make it alive, and how are they going to end this? So it's just, it's a fun little murder mystery 
thriller, just kind of genre blended short fun. So if that sounds up your alley, yeah, hope you, you can find it, check it out and check out his other stories. I've actually started reading another one by Lincoln Child is The Third Gate. It's a different book in the series that focuses on ancient Egypt and I'm really enjoying that one right now. So if you want another video about that, drop me a line, let me know. If you do want some ebooks, hey, just, yeah, drop me a line, say, let me know if you like this video, if you've got anything you really want me to get to get to soon and do a video about. And I hope y'all had a great week and I'll see you next time. Bye.